Leaders allied to Ferdinand waited to have vowed to challenge the impeachment in court after the Senate upheld the county assembly ouster. This even as his impeachment was quickly gazetted on the Wednesday night, hours after the Senate vote. So what's next for Babayao? He has the option of moving to the Supreme Court to challenge his impeachment. If he goes that route, he will be tasked with poking holes at his impeachment beyond reasonable doubt. According to the Kenyan constitution, if a vacancy occurs in the office of county governor, the deputy county governor shall assume office for the remainder of the term. In this case, Kayambu deputy governor James Nira is set to take over the mantle from his embattled boss. The law further states that upon the assumption of office, the DG will be considered as having served a full term as governor provided at the date on which the person assumed office. More than two and a half years remained before the date of the next regularly scheduled election under Article 180, 1, or, B. Waiter was kicked out of office by the Senate on three charges, gross violation of the Constitution and Public Finance Management Act, crimes under the national law and gross misconduct, abuse of office. And on Wednesday. Senators voted to uphold the impeachment by the county assembly based on all three charges. The first count was supported by 27 senators while the second and third received support from 28. Only a simple majority of 24 senators was required to vote in support of the motion for it to pass.